Hi guys and welcome to my Lagos minimalist bedroom tour. Um, you guys have watched me for the over the couple of weeks and days and months trying to renovate my minimalist bedroom and I'm so happy with what I finally decided to settle with. If you guys have been on this journey with me since last year, you will know that I first designed this room um, in a video. I'm going to link the video here. Um, I was really going with a lot of greens, a lot of white. It was very plant-based and I really, really like that design. But something about me is that I get bored very easily. So I, I did get bored of that. So I decided to kind of just switch things up with a little bits and pieces here and there. So I just want to kind of run you guys through some of the new changes that I have in my minimalist bedroom because a lot of you guys have been asking. And yeah, the video is finally here. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hold on, hold on. Now I know you can't wait to see the grand reveal of my Lagos minimalist bedroom, but before we get into it, I would like to show you the extreme decluttering and process that went into this. So hold tight, you're gonna love this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video, we're doing a minimalist, is it minimal? No, no, it's, it's a makeover of my minimalist bedroom. Guys, this is what we're currently dealing with. You can see a lot of mess going on here. Um, let me kind of bring you guys closer so you can see. Like the side stools, the tables, like everything is just like all over the place. My skin. So many things are going on. And then over here we have like the bed, we have my dressing chair and all of that's just kind of happening there. There's just a lot happening at the moment. I'm still gonna keep this in my bed frames because I really like them and I love the messages on them. Um, but yeah, let me just kind of go into cleaning and organizing, okay? So I'm gonna take a break. There's still a lot more work that I still have. So let me just give you guys a sneak peek. Sorry. Just take a look at this place. It's just like there's still so much I still have to do. Even inside like my closet area, there's still a lot more organizing has to happen there. But guys, I'm tired. This thing is not a child's play. Like I'm the only one moving things around, carrying things around. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. So I'm just gonna go and eat and maybe I'll come back to finish up in the evening. One eternity later. Hey guys, good morning. Um, what was the time? So it's like about 8 p.m. Guys, this is well over, I think, five days later. Five days later after I was, five or four days after I was arranging my room, I kind of abandoned it. And now I'm back again. I woke up this morning after I said my prayers. I was like, the first thing I need to do is to take on the task of just finally decluttering this room yeah i just woke up and i want to start i want to continue from where we stopped the other day i don't really mind the drive but i think i'd rather die in oakland in oakland 
With my hands on too intense, so I guess it all depends on Oakland, on Oakland. And I'm nervous, truth be told, I never saw me growing old in Oakland, in Oakland. And if I married you tonight, it would probably start a riot in Oakland, in Oakland. Food on the gas I'm just trying to pass All the red lights And the stop signs I am ready to go I don't really mind the drive But I think I'd rather die In Oakland In Oakland And with my hands on too intense So I guess it all depends on Oakland Six and a half hours later. So I feel like I should do a haul for you guys. So we'll make it real quick. If you guys liked any of the ones I was um, just showing you guys now, let me know. Maybe I'll send them to you because actually I have too much. I'm not even using all of them. I just have like three that I really like. This is a brand new watch I have. Never actually one. I don't know why I see. Well, yeah. So this is what I'm gonna leave this place as: sunglasses and perfumes. Here I have my bags. Here I just have my clothes. So. Let's go down to the lower counters. This is where the stress really is at. Fun story. When I was moving out of my mom's house, she packed like a lot of jewelry and gave me. Like jewelry that she wasn't like using again, I just wanted to give to me. And I've just had it sitting in here. Like, it's just like in here. You know how they have this myth about like African homes. When you see a cookie um, box, you think it's cookies. It's not cookies though, guys. It's actually like jewels that I'm just like keeping. Um, it's not really, I would say it's not really my style. I haven't grown into any of them. Like, where am I wearing pearls to like? Where am I wearing all this to like? Do you get what I mean? Where am I wearing this brooch to? Do you get? So I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of like just keeping it until when I grow into it. But my mom actually gifted me this. So shout out to you, mother. This is kind of where the main work is at, cause here I kind of just arrange like my books, paperwork, everything, like my invoices, finance, everything, my bookkeeping goes in this small cabinet here. I'm a digital babe, so most of my important documents are probably like stored up somewhere in the cloud. Um, but those things that I can actually store in the cloud are actually here. Um, we're almost done actually, just a few more things. I need to make my bed and put my duvet, and I think that's about it. So let's do that. Um, guys, I'm finally done. It took me seven days and seven nights, but I'm finally done. I just made my bed. Yeah, I'm so excited and thankful for you guys. I'm breathing very fast, guys. I'm tired. Um, for you guys coming along with me on this journey, I'm just like so excited to have you guys here. Um, I started this minimalist journey um, last year, like I said, and it's like one of the best decisions I ever made. And I'm just so happy that most of the things in my space are things that are actually very functional are things that I actually use and need and I have taken out everything that I don't need for now I have like a donation pile in the guest room uh, maybe I'll show you guys it's like a lot I'm gonna give it out and remember what I said if you saw anything in this video that you wanted shoot me an email and yeah that's it so next time you see me I'll be all glammed all dressed and I'll be running you guys through my beautiful minimalist simple minimalist bedroom 
You guys have watched the journey. You've watched me try to make over this room um, in the past few days and weeks, and I'm so excited with the results. So yeah, let me show you guys my Lagos minimalist bedroom. Come, 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 come. So I'm gonna start from here, which is my most favorite part of this room. I feel like I have too many favorite spots, but what can I say? <laughs> I have too many favorite spots, but this is one of my favorite spots. I love how simple, how minimal it is. And I'm just gonna run you guys through most of the things that you can see here. I'm gonna start from the obvious, which is my bed frame, my bed stand, as it's popularly known. Um, a lot of inquiries I get is usually about my bed stand. Where did you get your bed stand? Where did you buy it? Did you have to make it? Which carpenter made it for you? Can I have his details? Um, so I got this bed stand from Odolo Warehouse. Now, Odolo Warehouse is located in Oshodi Papa Expressway, I think. Um, so what they do in this warehouse is that they ship things from different countries all around the world, from like America, Germany, Scotland, all over the world. They just ship things to this warehouse. So you get the chance to buy things at very low discounted price in this warehouse. So that day I went to the warehouse, kind of just trip shop for some pieces for my apartment. And then I stumbled upon this bed and it was everything that I wanted. It was very simple, very minimalist, very white. And this was exactly what I was looking for. It's made out of like American wood. It's an American bed, it's actually from America. And so what that means is that you can actually paint the bed stand, you can change the color, you can do whatever you want. As a to the regular HDF food that is used to make beds here in Nigeria so that is exactly where I got this bed from over here I have this beautiful lovely pampas grass I ordered this pampas grass from Wicker's basket NG this is a store on Instagram they sell pampas grass and other home decor items I ordered this along with some other pampas grass that I have in my living room um, now this I'm sure you guys have been staring at this wondering what this is is, it, is this a chocolate box is this it is my jewelry box guys i really 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 love it i'm obsessed with it i got this jewelry box from miniso miniso is a japanese store that is located in shoprite um basically anywhere you can find shoprite you find a miniso store and i saw this jewelry box I don't even know if it's for jewelry but when I saw it I knew what I wanted to use it for and I really like how simple it is how minimalist it is like it just really goes with like the vibe and aesthetics of my home and one thing I'm kind of getting into if you guys haven't noticed I really don't wear a lot of accessories but one thing I'm trying to get into is like wearing accessories a lot more so this was actually like an essential piece to add to my room decor so yeah that's where I got this from I have these lights under here the slides were gifted to me. Um, so basically these are like reading lights. So if I want to read and I don't want to turn my lights on, I could just, you know, turn them on. Um, over here I have my candles. You can literally buy your candles from any regular Jegla supermarket. I got this from Ibano supermarket, I think. Um, yeah, this one actually glows in the night. And then over here you can see my wall frames. I got them from the lower warehouse as well the same day i went to get all this bed stand all of that i saw those frames i got them and then i changed out the printings in them i went to Dokuland to kind of print out the messages that i wanted and then i put it in here so that's how i got the frames then over to my sheets guys i told you guys the sheets curtains everything i have in this house i got it from tejo show supermarket supermarket i got it from tejo show market tejo show market is a fabric market located in yaba they sell everything fabric clothes um, bed sheets curtains all of that my cuttings we also got it from um, tejo show market as well and my sheets as well all, all the sheets i have i got them the same day from um tejo show market and then these throw pillows um if you guys watch my apartment tour vlog you should probably watch it if you haven't um the same people who made the bed in the living room um wood hub 98 they also made these straw pillows as well and yeah i kind of just put them to just bring in some color because i feel like my space is too white not like i'm complaining but i kind of just use it to break the color um over here on the floor we have this small fluffy rug i also got it from Odolo warehouse so essentially they sell a lot of rugs you just have to kind of choose the one that you want so i I got one last but not the least this side stool I just needed a side stool to keep like my books my journals um, my supplements like anything I, I know that I need to reach out to real quick my earpiece anything I literally need um, my Apple watch um, basically i just keep all the things that i really really need close to me in here i got this bed stand made not bed stand i got this size to made by 
just a regular jeglar carpenter like he literally made it in like a week and i forgot to call his phone number and yeah that is it but nothing special about this bed tie table you can literally get any carpenter anywhere to get it done for you of course i got it in white because that's my vibe that's my jam so yeah let me show you guys other exciting parts of my bedroom all right so now that we're done with this area let me show you guys my cupboard or wardrobe or closet space i don't even know what to call it this is unfortunately this is not my favorite part of this house because this is not my favorite shade of brown but it's all good it's big it's like see how big it is it's big it's massive and it really helps me with the clutter in my room every single clutter every single load goes in here so let me kind of show you guys how i organize my cupboard or wardrobe i don't know what to call it but so we'll start from this area here so over here i kind of just have my my clothes these are like clothes that i wear to go out and for meetings and stuff i kind of color coded them so you see that i started from black and after the blacks you have grays and then you have white and then you have the nudes and then you have the pinks and then you have the reds and then you have the yellows the greens the blues the dark blues and what have you so i just kind of color coded it what i what i found out that this helps me do is that it helps me find my clothes much easier so if i could remember the color of the clothes i'm looking for i pretty much know where I, I can find it and also what else does it help me do it just looks pleasing to my eye because i have mild ocd so this really helps a lot organizing all of this and then down here i kind of just put like my towel and my duvet and all of that then down here i just organize my shoes and that's all about it obviously up here what i did up here i kind of just organized every single techie item i bought the carton goes up here i don't know if you guys can see it like my microphones my camera everything every carton every filming equipment goes up here so that is great it's not showing by the way thankfully um, and then let's move over to this side this area here i kind of just organized like my clothes so over here i have like the clothes that i usually wear to stay at home I kind of just organize them here and here and down here I have like my joggers, my jeans and all of that. Then I have some drawers here where I have like my underwears, my bikinis, all of that, my socks. You don't really need to see that but yeah these are like the clothes I wear to stay at home. And then over here in this area I have my bags. You guys saw me declutter most of my bags. I gave a lot of them away and this is actually my current faves. This is currently the bags that I'm actually loving right now and i wear them quite often so i just decided to keep them yeah and then down here i have like my sunglasses collection and then my um perfume collection um these are just some of my favorite scents to be honest um yeah just a little bit of my small collection that i'm just trying to build up i told you guys i'm really into masculine scents so in case you are seeing a lot of masculine scents here that's what it is so yeah this is just like my perfume collection then i have these lights that actually reflect here so i love that for me and then this down here is just like an empty space because when i have guests over and they don't know where to keep the items or their clothes or whatever this is a designated space for any guest or anybody that like to stay in my room you see i'm very hospitable is that what they call it yeah i'm very hospitable and so that's why i left this space down here if you go down over here over here i have like my bookshelf so all my books document files everything goes under here and then this is like my stationary bag i have like my cello tapes super glue markers pens all of that goes in here and then all my books go under here or some of my books actually and then this is just blank for like my guests my if my guests have shoes or anything else they want to put here this is their designated space and yeah that's all about this my wardrobe situation here and then let me show you guys my mini vanity slash work area let's go okay so now that we're done with this cupboard um, wardrobe situation let me show you guys another of my favorite spots and this is like my mirror 
my floating mirror because actually floating and then my plants this is one of my babies this is a togo lily i got this plant from a regular jaguar plant lady down the road and then i spray painted the flower pots to match with the white aesthetics um, and then over here we have this lovely mirror i got this mirror from lekki ikate traffic I, i'm sure i've spoken about this traffic more than i've spoken about <laughs> this room um, but if you're in Lagos or if you're not even in Lagos I'm sure you've heard about Lagos traffic there's this badass traffic that always happens around that Lekki Ikate area and you see a lot of people saying like artworks paintings all of that I saw one guy holding this mirror and he was running inside traffic and then I called him I think it was about 15k or 20k there about it wasn't that expensive it was also white which is the aesthetics I was going for for my room and so I got these flower and then these fairy lights that I have here I ordered it from an Instagram store a store on Instagram that sells interior decor items so that's where I ordered these fairy lights from guys you need to see this lights at night just wait just wait okay stay to the end if you want to see how my room transforms at night but yeah basically this is all that goes on in this space this is my mini office slash vanity area nothing vanity about this place okay <laughs> I'm just gonna call it whatever I want but this is my dex area guys a lot of things actually goes on here I just get like my admin work done like sending emails just doing little tasks here and there I just kind of come here to get it done um, so let me just run you guys through some of the pieces that I have on my table I also kind of stay here to do my makeup as well yes I know multi-purpose girl yeah so come closer let me kind of show you guys how i arrange this my small desk situation so over here i have like my candles my scented candles which kind of just set the tone and the vibe i have my award here this is one of my many proud <laughs> awards um so then i have my laptop here i have my ipad my ipad case Come closer come closer over here i have like my chess board um it kind of just helps me think like when i want to just fiddle on something while i'm thinking this actually works for me very well i kind of wish i had more friends and know how to play chess but i don't so it's just me and my siblings but yeah i have this chess board here just for when i feel like over here i have this phone holder so i use this this thing was gifted to me by one business yeah catch business school i went for a I went for a lesson there at Catch, Catch Business School and this was one of like the souvenirs that it gave us. So it's a phone holder, it's just used to kind of hold your phone and yeah so this is kind of what you use it for if you're playing music while you're working. Over here I have my diffuser, I have this, is it digital analog clock, is this digital analog? I have this digital clock. It was gifted to me by one of my former bosses. Really thoughtful, amazing gift. And I kind of just use it to arrange like my pens, pencils, highlighters, and all of that. So yeah, and then I have this pop of color lamp here. I use this lamp at night when I don't really want to have all the lights on. Um, and I need some kind of lights on this table. And yeah, that is pretty much what I have on this table. Then in the drawers, guys. Nothing happens here. These are just like my digital stuff. So I have like my tripod stand, my gimbals, remote controls for my lights. These are just techie stuff, things that I use to film. Down here, I have more and more lights, more and more LED lights, more and more filming equipment. Guys, majority of the things I have in my room are just filming equipment, okay? I don't even, I don't even have much stuff. Down here, I have wires. I don't really like having wires scattered around my rooms. I don't really like having, it just irks me a lot. So all my wires are here, my laptop charger, earpiece, everything, wire, mouse, they all go inside this cabinet here. Then down here, I have like my little makeup cabinet where I just put like my makeup stuff and all of that down here. And so this area doubles as my vanity area and my mini work area. I obviously have like more space outdoors where I kind of get work done and my office space and all of that but this is my mini work area and yeah I really love how simple how minimal it is I think we've actually come to the end of my Lagos minimalist apartment but a little surprise guys this room has a totally different vibe at night and that is exactly what I want to show you right now so let me just show you guys a 360 view of this room during the daytime and then let me show you guys how it looks like at night let's go
guys we have come to the end of my lagos minimalist apartment i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up let me know your favorite part of this bedroom or this whole makeover process and if you have any questions or inquiries make sure to put it in the question box and i'll be happy to reply you and of course if you have any inquiries that you want to speak to me about personally do make sure you shoot me an email and i'll be at your service do make sure you check out my last minimalist lagos bedroom i'm going to also tag the minimalist playlist if you're interested in seeing like my minimalist journey how i started you know my minimalist journey how i became a minimalist how i have managed to maintain minimalism in my life in my decoration process in my apartments in my bedroom all of that i'm going to tag that somewhere here and of course i'll see you guys in my next video bye